So this story happens in real life, in my life. And it starts in a desert. Imagine the heat, the unbearable heat, the sun high in the sky, dry air, and lack of water. Awful. And then a lone wanderer in the distance walking through the dunes. The soles of her feet hurt because the sand is so hot that they burn the feet. Oh, and actually, there's been a few more people involved, or a lot more people. And uh, we actually didn't walk there. Uh, we were driven there. And uh, there was a certain camp involved at the seashore. So lots of water and, well, a vibrant city was quite nearby. But we were still in the desert. But let's get to the point of the story. So it was the year 2012. And me and 700 other TEDx organizers, we've met in one place because of one thing. And there was a lot of people that were very different. People of different gender, different age, different ethnicities, cultures, and religions. And we all, all 700, met there because of the TEDx spirit, the spirit of spreading ideas. And it was in that very place, and thanks to these people, that I understood that the TEDx spirit is not reserved for TEDx organizers. The TEDx spirit is actually about the attendees of our conferences. But before I tell you why, let me first tell you a few things about the TEDx program. So it was introduced six years ago, and since not that time, we've organized almost 16,000 events. So this is around eight events a day. And actually today, there are 16 events happening all around the world. It's pretty impressive. And collectively, we've produced uh, almost 72,000 TEDx talks, which would take three years to watch. And lately, we've hit a major milestone, which is a billion views. And I hope we're going to catch you, Gangnam Men. <laughs> so. TEDx events have been organized in various places, like this one, TEDx Trento Salon in the mountains, or TEDx Everest that happened on, yeah, you guessed it, Mount Everest, or this TEDx Amazonia that happened here, TEDx Antarctic Peninsula, TEDx Great Wall, obviously in China, and this TEDx in a poor community in Mozambique. So it happens everywhere. TEDx Kalamata happens in an ancient Greek theater. And there was a TEDx held on a train, TEDx Maastricht. We also organized events with some important international organizations like United Nations or NASA or CERN, oh, and there's been also a TEDx event at the Burning Man Festival. It's actually annual. And this is TEDx Rio de la Plata, the biggest event so far with 10,000 attendees. They had 30,000 applications for the event. And some TEDx events happen with a greater reason and are exceptionally important for the community they are organized in, like the first TEDx event in Cuba, or the one in Iraq, or also TEDx events that happen in prisons where inmates are both the attendees and the speakers. And this TEDx, TEDx Monumento 258, happens at the border of US and Mexico with stages, speakers, and attendees on both sides of the fence. TEDx Moscow had a talk delivered directly from space. I mean, how cool is that? 
have you noticed what I haven't talked about yet? Ideas. It's because we don't do all this only to spread ideas. Because ideas without action and without further spreading are not so effective in changing the world and changing the communities. You see, we do all this. We go to great lengths to make the events feel special. But we don't do this for the speakers. We don't do this for the companies that, are, that support us. We actually do it for you. Because it's you who can change your communities and who can change, your, uh, can change the world. In 2015, there has been over 3,200 TEDx events worldwide. If we assume that an average size of an event was uh, 100 attendees, that's a lot of people and a, a lot of ambassadors of ideas. Just think about it. If there's a speaker talking about exoskeletons, I think the disabled people deserve to know that there is a chance that they will be able to walk again. Or if there is a speaker talking about equality, then unless you embrace equality and become an advocate of equality in your community, they're not going to be successful. And some TEDx events, some TEDx talks are going to point out problems in our society. Some will show us the vision of the future and some will tell us to be better human beings. And with so many TEDx talks around, you will notice that each of them has a different call to action. And sometimes it will be straightforward. Sometimes you will have to think about it first. But whatever it is, don't take it for granted. And I've prepared five simple steps that you can take to push your community forward by spreading ideas, by taking action. So first, reflect. As I said, don't take the ideas for granted. Think, how can you implement the ideas in your society, in your community? What can you do to use the ideas? Tell the others. Pick one TEDx talk from this event that you love and tell about it to your friends, to your family. And what's crucial, tell them why it matters. Why is it important? Why should they care? Talk to the speakers. It's easier when you're at an event. When you're watching a video, it's a bit harder, but you can still find contact information to the speaker. But whatever you do, talk to the speaker. Ask them how can you help in spreading their idea or in general, how can you assist? Maybe it's not going to be a direct help. Maybe you're going to be able to connect them with somebody that will be able to help them directly. Talk to the speakers. And sharing a TEDx talk is simple and it doesn't take too much time. And you know that. Just pick a talk that you love and post it in your social media. Maybe somebody that, uh, for whom this talk is significant will find it and will change their life, at least in a very small way. So share a TEDx talk. And then implement. Because just sharing ideas is good work. But if you want to make it great, then you, you would want to implement what the speaker is talking about, like with this equality. If you want the war, world to be equal, you have to embrace equality, right? So implement what the speaker is talking about. And there's plenty more steps that you can actually take to push your community forward. And I ask you, what are you going to do about it? Thank you. <laughs>